Chronic for this October review today. So before I get into this review, I'm going to be going over how my rating system works. So 10 to 7 is a positive review for the movie, with 10 being an absolute beautiful day. 9? I mean, it's a 9. Watch the movie. 8 is great. 7 is good. 6 to 4, now getting into the mix section, with 6 being a possible good. 5, a 50-50. 4, not quite bad, but you get a pass. 3 and under, now being into the negative section, with 3 being bad. 2 being really bad. 1 being the gates of hell and 0 being nowhere you want to go. So let's get this started. So for those of you uh, who are familiar with this channel, it's good to see you. And uh, those who are new to this channel, it's great to see you as well. And I hope that I can please you. In this review, we're going <coughs> to... In this review, we're going to be talking about uh, Synchronic. It is the fourth film in the filmography from Benson and Moorhead. They did Spring... Resolution, uh, The Endless. This film uh, um, actually doesn't have them in the cast. All the other films did, I believe. So this film is very different from uh, what we're, I guess, kind of used to from these two gentlemen. The opening scene gives uh, viewers a good idea of where the film's gonna head. But the environment as well as the effects were very kind of hit and miss for me. And I know, again, that this is, like I said, very different material than what we're used to from these guys, but the opening, it just didn't fully hit me. I just, I needed to see more. So well, right after this intro, um, we get introduced to uh, Anthony Mackie's character and uh, his co-star, and literally, like, because this is like this is like right after that intro scene. Literally, the second that they come on screen, yeah, this feels like a Benson and Moorhead project. Though I felt like the film was starting to uh, head in the right direction with the uh, with the introduction of these two characters, I did have some trouble with the uh, pacing and I guess route of the ambience. Uh, and with the storytelling, it felt just kind of jumbled and like maybe like it, it just wasn't giving its all. But this is still a very nice uh, feeling film, especially for its genre. I think the budget for the film is very fitting. And the film's biggest strength is actually creating that like nature and kind of a name for itself. And one thing I can say is that as the movie uh, kept going, the characters were at the very top of the list for me. I mean, the like how well their their arcs are with this with the story is wonderful. Um, Anthony Mackie especially. His character and just his performance in general are just absolutely soothing. But exploring more, um, this film is very interesting. It all, in, in a sense that like it almost feels like if uh, Christopher Nolan were to like toy with the sci-fi or horror genre, it's very good at jumping to certain timelines in the film during very specific uh, scenes and events. Not just to fill in the story, but to keep the mystery of it uh, lingering. I think the way this film chooses uh, to focus on, on its events and uh, to what extent is what makes this film what it is in the end. I mean, what the story is already, like what's premises, is already something. But it's so much more than just like the plot or even like the events that lead into it. I got vibes from Tenet to even Coherence. This film won't be for everyone, especially for those looking for like a horror chiller or even an action-packed sci-fi film. It's very smart and mature and even tricky when setting what it wants for its viewers. And diving back into the story, the way that it explores and displays uh, the events, it's not made into a huge blockbuster way. It's just, it's, it's very mental based. You see very personal and uh, troublesome issues and battles with uh, specifically Mackie's character. And more so, uh, how it actually affects him, his character, while enduring dealing with the uh, situations in this film that the movie is about. And this film is 100% more of a drama film or even a character study. This is by no means a horror film. But what it does do has a lot of tension to it that has a very good focus on it. And as the movie goes on, uh, this tension, it's in moments where maybe it shouldn't be. This tension goes to levels that wouldn't normally work, but completely do. And sometimes that goes along uh, specifically with just kind of unraveling the mystery of the nature of the film, but steers completely clear of going ahead of itself, which I found really cool. And it just continues to exceed itself and surprise viewers with proper effects and just appropriate higher tension and just building off of everything that, that was in pretty much every way. Though with saying this, it does get a little bit overwhelming or confusing, and sometimes to the level where it just doesn't feel right sometimes. My biggest flaw is that while I think it's an interesting story, 
I do think that it struggles sometimes while multitasking in all these different departments. And at the end of the movie, it just, to some viewers, it just may not feel, I guess, rewarding per se. And one last thing is the ending. This ending actually could have saved this movie for me. And this isn't a bad movie. It did a handful of things right. But after this viewing, after this ending, I feel like it should have had more of an impact, I guess. Again, it just didn't feel rewarding. This isn't a bad film, but it may be Moorhead and Benson's weakest film with saying that. I'm gonna give Synchronic a 5.6. So that was my review on Synchronic. Oh, I'm sorry this one is a little bit late. Um, this is my first review or video in general in about like a week, so I'm feeling a little bit scruffy, a little bit scraggly. We are still continuing to dive in with these October reviews. I have a few more left. Uh, I got a few throwback films left as well as a couple new releases. One that I'm really excited about because I didn't even know that this movie was fucking going to come out this year. <laughs> even though that goes with saying pretty much every movie this year. But again, to all my viewers, um, those who are familiar with the channel and are uh, newcomers to it, uh, thank you so much for checking out this review. Um, this was a very underrated movie. Um, I actually read an article and like uh, the directors of the film actually said that they didn't want people to see this movie just because they're on like a contract or some shit and like it wasn't even their decision to put this movie in theaters which is where I saw it so the promotion for this movie was honestly just kind of shit <laughs> and this was a movie that I just kind of got uh like that, that I just kind of heard about only a few days ago so and I have seen uh, a lot of Benson and Moorhead's uh, previous work so yeah you know I was, I was interested in seeing this but that will uh, do it for my review on uh, Synchronic. My next review is going to be a throwback review of The Gift followed by Come Play on October 29th so th yeah that one I'm really excited for. Um, I have a couple more reviews this month besides those still to come a couple surprises so Again, if you guys liked uh, the video, go ahead and subscribe, and it's always a pleasure to see you guys and to make videos for you guys. So hopefully you guys will come back for more throughout this month, and let me know what you guys thought of Synchronic. Thank you.